What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to turn images into clickable links in WordPress. For this video we're gonna be learning how to do that using the native WordPress editor, the Gutenberg, for pages and post creation, the WP Bakery page builder and Elementor page builder. So we're gonna be using these three page building styles to apply images into our pages or posts and apply links into it. First of all, go to Gutenberg. I'm gonna be loading our posts, add new into WordPress dashboard, apply some title and click into the plus button, search for image and select from e some image from our media library or upload one. Now, if you click onto the image, you can see this little link icon in the middle of the options next to the alignment and if you click on it you can apply a link and if you click into the little arrow under the link inserter you can select the link ELL the, the link rel like no follow or do follow the attribute the CSS style and set it to apply into a new tab or into the same tab let me upload the link from Visual Moto website and let's try. If you click into this image, any part of the image, you're gonna be loading into a browser new tab, the Visual Moto website or any other website that you can input on it. For example, if you want that this page links to another page of your own website, for example. Now, if you click on the image and have a look into the right side of your editor, the sidebar, you can see other useful image edit options that came to the light into WordPress 5.7, like the rounded options, for example. Now, let me go to the pages and I'm gonna be creating a page using Elementor to show the process using Elementor Page Builder that is a very popular page building style. Click into edit with Elementor, this is gonna be loading the Elementor front end editor, select the number of columns that you want and into the left sidebar of widget search for image. Drag and drop this widget into your page location and apply the image. Now, into the left sidebar you have image size, alignment, caption and link. Into link select custom URL and like the other you can set the image to open into a new tab and a custom attribute like no follow or do follow. And here is our result, a clickable image. Now let me load back the page editor and clear up the Elementor shortcode so we can be loading the WP Bakery page builder. We do not recommend that you have two page builders active in the same website, but once this is just a video for a tutorial, I can do that. But as you can see, the process is a quite complicated. Into the WP Bakery, you can go to backend or front end editors. I'm gonna be doing this into the backend. Go to add element, search for image. Into WP Bakery, we have single image element. We already have a video tutorial into this YouTube channel that you can review for only this element tutorial, but the process is pretty much the same. Select the element and into the window that's gonna be open, you can change the size, the alignment, and on click action, it's the place that you're gonna be applying your custom URL, your custom link. The image link is gonna be your target page. And if you check, same result. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. 
And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to both Page Builder plugins and WordPress Gutenberg latest versions. And I'll see you later. All the best!